You do not have long. Do not stop reading this letter. And the moment you finish, enact the plan. You should be in a room that roughly mimics your childhood home. Do not fret. You're trapped within your own mind. But hope is not lost. You will remember. I will make you remember. <sighs> Rule one. Find the memories. You cannot let yourself forget who you are. Rule two. Ignore the whispers. Your subconscious is telling you things that you don't need to hear. Rule three. If the door to your room opens slightly at any time, close it immediately and barricade it with anything that you can. Until this happens, you do not need to worry. And doing anything before then will only harm you. Rule 4. A window should be directly above where your bed lies. This is the most pressing matter. Cover it with anything that you can. If I enacted the ritual correctly, a few rudimentary building supplies such as nails should be there to assist you. Rule 5 You are not alone in your room. Due to this, I heavily recommend that you only leave your bed if absolutely necessary. The best we can do is keep as many things out as possible. As for the things already nearby, as long as you don't move much, I believe that nothing will happen. Rule 6 I cannot stress enough how important it is to keep everything out. If something happens not listed here, use common sense. This room is what makes you who you are. It is your core, your soul. You cannot lose that. Fight and struggle until you can't anymore. <sighs> I'm sorry, son. When they made the offer, the one to sell your memories, they promised to keep you safe. They promised that they would only study you. They lied. And now they are trying to take you away. You, you just need to keep going. And I'll find a way to get you out someday. I'm so sorry. Sorry.